Hi everyone. Um, I was uh, tagged by Mommy to Mario and so this is going to be my 31st video and I'm going to do a tag video. I usually, actually you've never seen me on the other side of this camera. You've seen my hands and you've seen pictures of me but you've never seen me. So here I am. I'm a little nervous. Um, but I thought I would let you know who I am and who is behind my YouTube channel. So, um, anyways, let's answer some questions here. So, state my name. My name is Mary, and my YouTube name is Mary Drab. And I'm a mother of two, um, and I've been married for 20 years. I have a girl and a boy, and my husband is just, he's such a wonderful man. He supports me in everything I do. Um, he's very encouraging and very supportive. But he doesn't want me to touch his drum set. <laughs> if you guys, for those of you who know, um, who have watched my video, um, you know. How or why did you get started on YouTube? Okay, so... The reason why I got started on YouTube was my daughter, who's 14, started um, having some skin issues, and um, I thought I'd go on YouTube to find, to do research um, on skin products and makeup and, you know, that sort of thing. And I watched a bunch of people, and makeup gurus, and I got addicted. All I did was watch makeup videos and learn about makeup videos. And one of the reasons, too, why I started watching that was because, you know, my daughter was starting to use makeup. So I thought, oh, you know, I really want her to know how to do it properly. So I'm going to learn from these people. Well, I ended up getting so hooked that I was buying makeup from the Internet and um, going shopping at the drugstore and buying the latest, greatest product. I got hooked and then I started uh, watching nail polish videos and oh my goodness I started buying nail polish. I swear my daughter and her friends they counted my nail polish and I think I have like uh, over 70 bottles <laughs> and I don't even use the stuff anymore. I barely use makeup um, and I barely, well I use my nail polish but Crafting makes your nails chip, so my nails are always in bad condition. So, anyways, and then um, I guess I saw someone's scrap room. You know how they have those suggested videos and that? Well, somebody had the most gorgeous um, scrap room, and I, so I started watching it. And, you know, I saw that, that she did crafts, and I was like, I, I can do that. And I scrapbook, like I scrapbook 12 by 12 pictures of my kids. Um, well, and then I started watching Bona and Arlene's videos, and I started to get interested in um, mini albums, and I made my first mini album, and I think I also made um, toilet paper mini album. And, um, and then I saw, I think it was Bona who had her, um, that uh, dress form from Pure Imports. Well, I was, I was, I went down to Pure Imports and Michaels, and I bought everything that she bought, and I just, I got so addicted. And then I started to join. Um, I joined your paper pantry um, in the swap because I was, I saw how Bona and Arlene were doing um, swaps and ATCs and. I wanted to do all that and so I, I went on your paper pantry and I started doing um, swaps and I think my first one was with um, Paula who is mommy 24C's. Hi Paula, hi Carson. And um, we exchanged um, racks and that was so much fun. And then I met more friends and I just, I just got hooked and now I have this little world of my own that has just way too much stuff but I love it all and I love being here it's crazy um it says why do I create I create because uh, well first I first started creating because I was bored 
I was a stay-at-home mom and my kids were getting older and we had a new principal in our school and um, he didn't want the parents as involved in the school as they used to be so I found a lot of time on my hands and well initially I started creating because I wanted to leave a memory for my kids like the photos that we've taken and just so that they remember what you know their youth right their um, our family and what we did so I started creating for that and then um, then I started creating for me because I started seeing all these videos and I knew I could do the stuff that you guys all do and I was so inspired so I, I started creating for me and where do I create? I create here in my my scrap room I don't usually um, do any crafts outside like I mean yeah no I don't I create in here because everything's in here so if I want you know some prima flowers or I am roses flowers or prima bling or glitter glue it's all here so I can just grab it and go. Do I ever lose my mojo? Definitely. And I'm sure that you guys saw through the whole process of this 31 day video. I mean there were times where my videos were really short and I had nothing to show you hardly. Um, because I didn't, I lost my mojo. What is my favorite technique? I love embossing and I love um, um, Taking my, um, you know, my distress ink and and just grunging up all my uh, projects. I love that. I love to antique it. I guess. And let's see, my what is my favorite product? I love Prima Saving Pearls. Prima is just so yummy. Their quality. I put it in everything. I put it in almost all my projects. It's just. It's classy. It's just beautiful. I love the Satan pearls. I, just Satan crystals. I love Prima. Um, are you a night owl or a rooster? I'm definitely a rooster. When my eyes get open up from sleep, I, I want to get up out of bed and get going. I go downstairs, get my coffee, go watch YouTube videos, and then start my day. I, I have to be up and I gotta go. <laughs> um, what do I hoard? Well, apart from every single scrapbooking thing that I see on YouTube, <laughs> um, I think I hoard organizational supplies. And I think I hoard it because I am not an organized person. I dream of being it. I dream of having a place that's like perfect. Nothing out of its place. But it's very challenging for me to do that. Um, and I think that's why I love watching YouTube videos because there's so many of you out there that are so organized and everything is so perfect. And I want that, but yeah. I mean, it's a challenge for me. Okay, um, do you have a wish list? Ah, oh, I have a wish list. I wish for everything. <laughs> My poor husband, but yeah. I mean, I want more Copic markers. I want more Sizzix dies. Oh, I want more paper, and I have lots of paper. But um, I think that thing on the, on the top of my list is my chandelier. I want my chandelier for my scrap room. And I just haven't found the perfect one yet, so yeah, I have a wish list. Uh, what's my favorite color? I think my favorite color is beige because beige is my basic color for everything. I have a beige home and I add color to it apart from that, but beige and black are my basic colors and then I will add some other colors. But um, yeah, I think beige is my color. <laughs> How boring is that? Um, my favorite style. Okay, so I guess it would be French Flea Market. Like, um, one of my videos, I showed you guys a video uh, or a magazine of this lady's scrap room. And it was very eclectic with all different things like antique baskets and dress forms. And Okay, so non-related scrapbooking questions. Do I sing in the car? No. 
I don't sing in the car. Um, I had, when I was a teenager, I remember singing and dancing in the car. I was like going crazy. I loved this song. There was a guy going the opposite way, but in the, <coughs> sorry, across the intersection. And he was like laughing at me. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. So yeah, no, I don't sing in the car. Um, favorite food? Japanese. Love Japanese food. Mm, I also love Korean, but I think Korean's probably second. Japanese is my favorite. Um, what do I like? Oh, I like lots of things. I like getting up in the morning, getting my coffee, coming in here, and watching YouTube um, videos. I like reading the comments that people post. I like spending time with my family, my kids. So what do you collect other than scrapbooking items? Okay, I collect antique teacups. I love my teacups. I, um, I've only done it twice, but I love having um, a group of ladies over and I'll make like little finger sandwiches and little, you know, cookies and just um, placing the table setting so nicely in flowers and then having all my teacups up there so they can choose which cup they want to use for their tea. Oh, that's so much fun. Um, let's see here. Hobbies other than scrapbooking. Well, um, I love to bake for my kids and their friends. And I think I like baking for kids because they don't worry about how fattening it is. Just if it tastes good, right? Um, okay, tell me a funny story. Okay, I guess, well, the one that I can think of is a time I went up to Whistler with my family for New Year's. And I, I've told um, this on a video before. But there was a, it's like a family event where you, there's no alcohol and there's a band and there's activities for kids and stuff. Well, there's a, there was a crafting table um, at this place, but I think it was meant for kids because um, I was the only adult making a picture frame. But I did ask the lady if I could do it and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, you can do it. But it was kind of embarrassing because my kids are like, oh my God, mom, you're the only adult. They're all kids and they didn't want to make a frame, right? But I had to, you know, I had to, oh, actually, I have it here. Hold on. I, ha I mean, there was like tissue and I had to make this, right? So, I mean, it's a great memory, but it was kind of embarrassing because I was the only adult. So, um, anyways, while I was doing that, my son makes me this here. And it says, I have a craft addiction. Help me. And he makes me wear it. <laughs> Thing is, I'm going to keep this forever because it's a cute little memory and so funny. Okay, so that's it. Um, and this is the end of my 31-day video series. So I just want to thank Marion for the challenge. Um, Marion, if you watch this, thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. It was very challenging. And it's funny because the whole evolution of, of from when I started to where I am now... I mean, I used to be, I, I was upstairs in my games room, and that was my scrap room. And now I'm here um, in my own small little den, and I love it in here. Um, and also the fact that I met all these great ladies. Like, even though I haven't met you in person, um, you regularly comment on my videos, and so I feel like I know you. And it puts a smile on my face. You guys are just so great and supportive. So thank you so much. I'm not going to mention any names because I know I'll forget um, some of you or some names. So you know who you are. And I really appreciate it. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for just the support and commenting. It's just, it makes my day. All right, I guess that's it. Have, um, it's the end of the month. So have a wonderful February. Um, I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Um, I am not going to be doing a video every day <laughs> in February, but I will still make videos. So thank you again, you guys. Take care. Bye.